So now that we've installed Atom, the next step is to power it up with packages. So you can see that they have over 8,000 packages, which are bunches of code that other programmers have written to make your experience of using Atom better. So what we're about to do is a bit like that 90s MTV show, Pimp My Ride. We're going to improve our code editor using these additional components and add-ons. It's almost like we're upgrading the sound system to our car. Now, the simplest thing for us to do when we want to install a package is to simply open up Atom and in the welcome guide here, you should be able to see this install a package section, which we can click on and then we can click on open installer and that will take us to the correct position in the settings menu. Now, if you're on Windows and you wanna be able to navigate back to here, the easiest way is to go to file and then go to settings and then you'll find the same panel and you can click on install. And in order to install the packages, all we have to do is to type their name into the search bar and then it will search the entire library of packages and we're able to install, uninstall or change its settings. So again, if you head back over to the web development course resource list, you'll see that there is a list of Atom packages that we want you to install. And these are the ones which are recommended and these are the ones which are optional. And then if you search for each of these packages, for example, starting with atom-turn.js, then you should be able to find and install these packages into your Atom code editor. And if you have any problems at all during the installation process, take a look back at that Google Drive document where we've got troubleshooting tips and advice as well. So now as a Windows user, you are done installing Atom, installing Chrome, and also the Atom packages. And you can safely skip the rest of the video and continue to the next lesson. Now, if you are a Mac user, all you have to do is open up Atom and go to preferences and then go to install. And I want you to search for each of these and then just go ahead and install it. So you can simply just copy and paste it into here and you'll see the one that should match up exactly with the name that you see over here. And then just go ahead and click install. Similarly, if you had any problems installing the packages, I recommend heading over to that Google Drive doc that I linked to in the course resources and take a look through the troubleshooting steps and see if they can help you to resolve the, any issues that you have. And then once you're done, you've finished all the installation steps and we can get started by heading over to the next lesson.